Hey, it's Stu Walker today. We're back in the Hoosier National Forest. I'm excited because we got two inches of rain last night. Obviously, we got some snow and we're out here in this unnamed valley to explore some waterfalls. And of course, this is a certified stoop walker hike. So if we're crossing creeks, there's not gonna be any bridges, there's no lifeguard on duty, and there's not gonna be any, any kiosk to warn us about slippery rocks. So if you need a disclaimer for today, I'm giving it to you now. This hike, it's gonna be insane. Wait, I thought you said this was an easy hike. Oh, hey, a little window. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, well, that's enough of that. Uh, 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 get out of here. That's how you do it. <laughs> well, this is a pleasant surprise. I guess it's uh, so much for the insane hike. I mean, this is easy walking. Hopefully we don't run into like a rabid bear or something up there because this is just too easy. This is waterfall number one, and we've got a few more to find. All right. Here's where the real fun of off trail hiking comes from, right here. Well, it's almost like there's a path through here already, like a Something came through here. Oh, oh that's a real nice. Oh, 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 juice bomb. This is a neat little area. We originally weren't even gonna come here. But the power line cut just made it so daggone easy. We decided to come check it out. And I'm glad we did. But poor Stephanie's freezing. <laughs> Before we started this hike, I was afraid that this whole valley might be flooded out on account of the fact that we got about two inches of rain here last night. It does look like the water came up, like maybe they had a little bit of flooding, but it's good now. It's easy hiking and uh, I really enjoy this area actually. Ended up being a lot more pleasant than I thought it would be. A few moments later. We just fought through some craziness to get here and we are in the power line cut. The waterfall is up ahead. The question now is, uh, how do we get up here?
Oh, hey, Steph's figuring it out. I'll follow. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I hate power line cuts. Spiky trees? Oh, spiky trees. I freaking love spiky trees. I like this little waterfall. It's not the biggest waterfall in the Hoosier National Forest, but it's pretty cool. And the approach is awesome. It's a really cool rock shelter here. And I actually kind of like that it's guarded by the nightmare forest of thorns and prickers because it makes it a true hidden hike. I want to warn my viewers that hiking across icy logs requires perfect balance and should only be performed by the most skilled of hikers. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm fine. Freaking meant to do that. I'll tell you what, there are a lot of little waterfalls and rock outcrops in the Hoosier National Forest, but they are not all worth the trouble to hike to. This location did not make it into the Hoosiers Hidden Hikes guidebook, but I am gonna make it available online through the Hoosiers Hidden Hikes group. If you have the book, go ahead and go to Facebook, look up Hoosiers Hidden Hikes. Um, it is an exclusive group. There's a screening question, so make sure you have your book handy. Um, it's exclusive because that's how we keep it cool. What can I say? And I'll have the map for this location along with the locations of all the waterfalls. And uh, same holds true for anywhere else that I hike. So uh, come check us out and join the group. We're gonna lead some more hikes here. So we're gonna have some group hikes this year and we're gonna keep on exploring. take a look now and see how we got here we're at a pond which is funny because i didn't realize it was here until uh, i started taking a closer look at the lidar map so here's this little pond right above my thumb a little rock shelter and uh these three waterfalls to the west those were the nice waterfalls the other two they're just going to come off the map and uh, yeah, the rock outcrops, you can see everything really well. Uh, all of the roads ended up being there for the most part. So yeah, it's this map was extremely helpful in our hike today. All right, we finally made it out to solid ground. It was a pretty wild day of hiking. We found several pretty cool waterfalls and uh, we figured out which places were not cool. So I'll be sure to update the map. So if people want to come out here, you'll know what's the best way to do this. So you can have a much more enjoyable hiking day than uh, this exploration day was. But hey, I still had a good time. And uh, if you don't already have the Hoosiers Hidden Hikes Guidebook, it's available now on amazon.com. So check it out and join the club. We're having a great time out in the Hoosier National Forest here. So we hope to see you.